Hello, welcome to the last section of the course. Market basket analysis with groceries data. In this section you're going to learn about MBA, its applications, prerequisites, modelling technique limitations and practical projects. Now we move on to the first video of this section. Introduction to market basket analysis. In this video we're going to learn about MBA, its application, assumptions, modelling techniques and limitations. Think about a scenario from a retailer or e-commerce store manager when it comes to recommending the right products to customers. Product recommendation is one important domain in data mining practice. Product recommendation can happen in three different ways. By associating customers' behaviour with their purchase history, by associating items that are being purchased on each visit, and lastly by looking at the gross sales in each category and then using the retailer's past experience. In this section we'll be looking at the second method of product recommendation, popularly known as Market Basket Analysis, MBA, also known as Association Rules, which is by associating items purchased at transaction level and finding out the sub-segments of users having similar products and hence recommending the products. What do you think? Is MBA limited to retail and e-commerce domain only? Now, let's think about the problems where MBA or association rules can be applied to get useful insights. In the healthcare sector, particularly medical diagnosis, as an example, having high blood pressure and being diabetic is a common combination. So it can be concluded that there are people having high blood pressure are more likely to be diabetic and vice versa. Hence, by analysing the prevalence of medical conditions or diseases, it can be said what other diseases they may likely get in future. In retail and e-commerce, promotions and campaigns can be designed once a merchandiser knows the relationship between the purchase patterns of different items. MBA provides insights into the relationship between various items so that product recommendations can be designed. In banking and financial services, also, MBA can be used, taking into account the number of products a bank is offering to the customers, such as insurance policies, mutual funds, loans and credit cards, is there any association between buying insurance policies and mutual funds? If yes, that can be explored using market bars to get analysis. Before recommending a product, the officer or agent should verify what all products go together so that the upsell and cross-sell of financial products can be designed. In the telecommunications domain, analysis of customer usage and selection of product options provide insights into effective designing of promotions and cross-selling of products. In unstructured data analysis, particularly in text mining, what words go together in which domain and how the terminologies are related and used by different people can be extracted using association rules. So, what is MBA? Market basket analysis is the study of relationships between various products and products that are purchased together or in a series of transactions. In standard data mining literature, the task of market basket analysis is to discover actionable insights in transactional databases. In order to understand MBA or association rules, also called A rules, it's important to understand the three concepts and their importance in deciding rules. Support. A transaction can contain a single item or set of items. Consider the item set X equals bread, butter, jam, curd. The support of X implies the proportion of transactions when all four items are purchased together to the total number of transactions in a database. Support of X equals the number of transactions involving X divided by total number of transactions. Confidence. Confidence always refers to the confidence of a rule. It can be defined as confidence of X to Y. Hence, support X union Y implies the number of transactions in a database containing both item set X and item Y. Confidence of X to Y equals support of X union Y divided by support of X. Lift. Lift can be defined as the proportion of observed support to expected support. Lift of a rule X to Y. Support of X union Y divided by support of X multiplied by the support of Y. An association rule stands supported in a transactional database if it satisfies the minimum support and minimum confidence criteria. Let's take an example to understand the concepts. We'll use groceries.csv dataset from the A rules library in R. The support of item set X where X equals milk, banana equals proportion of transactions where milk and banana are brought together. 
4 divided by 6 equals 0 0.67. Hence the support of the X item is set to 0 0.67. Let's assume Y is curd. The confidence of X to Y, which is milk, banana to portion of support X union Y divided by support X. Three products, milk, banana and curd, are purchased together two times. Hence the confidence of the rule equals 2 divided by 6 divided by 0 0.67 equals 0 0.5. This implies that 50% of the transactions containing milk and banana, the rule are correct. Confidence of a rule can be interpreted as a conditional probability of purchasing Y such that the item set X has already been purchased. When we create too many rules in a transactional database, we need to measure to rank the rules. Lift is a measure to rank the rules. From the preceding example, we can calculate the lift for X to Y. Where to apply MBA? To understand the relationship between various variables in large databases, it's required to apply market basket analysis or association rules. It's the simplest possible way to understand the association. Though we have explained various industries where the concept of association rule can be applied, the practical implementation depends on the kind of data set available and the length of data available. For example, if you want to study the relationship between various sensors integrated at a power station plant to understand which sensors are activated at a specific temperature level, very high, you may not find enough data points. This is because very high temperatures is a rare event and to understand the relationship between various sensors it's important to capture large data at that temperature level. Next we'll learn about data requirements for MBA. Product recommendation rules are generated from the results of the association rule model. For example, what is the customer going to buy next if he or she has already added a coke, a chips packet and a candle? To generate rules for a product recommendation, we need frequent item sets, and hence the retailer can cross-sell products. Therefore, the input data format should be transactional, which, in real-life projects, sometimes happens and sometimes does not. If the data is not in transaction form, then a transformation needs to be done. In R, data frame is a representation of mixed data. Can we transform the data frame to transactional data so that we can apply association rules on that transformed data set? This is because the algorithm requires that the input data format be transactional. Let's have a look at the methods to read transactions from a data frame. The A rules library in R provides a function to read transactions from a data frame. This function provides two options, single and basket. In single format, each line represents a single item. However, in basket format, each line represents a transaction comprising item levels and separated by a comma, space or tab. Let's create basket format transactional data creation from a data set using this block of code and then print it. We can also write data using this function. In order to read the file, you need to first import it using this code. Next, we're going to read transactions using this code and inspect the TR in the data set and you can see the items in a transactional form. Now let's look at a single format transactional data creation from a data frame. This is a line of code for that. Print it and you can see the output. Write the data to a file called single format and read it and then inspect the element using this code. You can see a single format data set. In this code, a typical piece of transactional data is received in a tabular format, just like the spreadsheet format equivalent of our data frame, can be converted to a transactional data format as required by the A rules input data format. Assumptions, prerequisites. Implementation of association rules for performing some market basket analysis is based on some assumptions. Here are the assumptions. Assume that all data is categorical. There should not be any sparse data. The sparsity percentage should be minimum. 
Sparsity implies a lot of cells in a data set with no values, with blank cells. The number of transactions required to find an interesting relationship between various products is a function of the number of items or products covered in the database. In other words, if you include more products with less number of transactions, you'll get higher sparsity in the dataset and vice versa. The higher the number of items you want to include in the analysis, the more number of transactions you'll need to validate the rules. Modeling techniques. There are two algorithms that are very popular for finding frequent item sets that exist in a retail transactional database. A priori algorithm. It was developed by Agrawal and Srikant, 1994. It considers the breadth first and provides counts of transactions. Eklat algorithm. This was developed by Zaki et al., 1997b. It considers depth first. It provides intersection of transactions rather than count of transactions. In this section, we're using the groceries.csv dataset, which will be used in both the algorithms. Let's now look at the limitations. Though association rules are a top choice among practitioners when it comes to understanding relationships in a large transactional database, they have certain inherent limitations. Association rule mining is a probabilistic approach in the sense that it computes the conditional probability of a product being purchased, such that a set of other items has already been purchased slash added to the cart by the customer. It only estimates the likelihood of buying the product. The exact accuracy of the rule may or not be true. Association rule is a conditional probability estimation method using simple count of items as a measure. Association rules are not useful practically, even with a high support, confidence and lift. This is because most of the times trivial rules may sound genuine. There is no mechanism to filter out the trivial rules from the global set of rules, but using a machine learning framework. The algorithm provides a large set of rules, however a few of them are important, and there is no automatic method to identify the number of useful rules. Splendid! In this video, you've learned about market basket analysis, aka MBA.